Hi, this is, this is Rob, M1E GP for M1E CC antennas. So what we wanted to do was just quickly run through uh, the kit that is going to be available on the shop. Um, so I'll start with the tripod. This is the tripod. You've seen pictures online already, I'm sure, so you know what to expect um, on there. Uh, there are some conditions that I want to just quickly run through with you. Um, don't over tighten the bolts on the bracket around the top pole um, because you don't want to squeeze this uh, and ruin, ruin that. These thumb screws, um, please don't over tighten them. Um, you just need to nip them up so they're strong enough. Uh, also the same with the, the, the main thumb screw here as well. Um, just enough just to grip it so that it, it remains stable. Before putting any other furniture on the tripod, um, I want you to use the, the, uh, the poles uh, um, own tent pegs, I call them tent pegs, um, to secure the, the tripod in place before any other furniture go on. Um, so that's the bracket as you can see, um, here's one that I've got here, um, this is exactly the same unit, um, lovely lovely piece of aluminium that's been machined specially for us, um, we've got the, uh, the 24 uh, TP 38 inch here for the, uh, for the coil, so obviously that bolts straight onto the top um, like so, um, once you've got that in position um, it's then over to getting your radials out, so on the reverse here We've got some nice little uh, finger tight wing nuts. Um, this is ideal for, for the uh, supplied um, radials that we've made as well. So these are easy to apply. And if you get it right and actually wind the radials on this um, winder properly, um, it can be very quick deployment. And that's what it's all about. Speed about getting the antenna up in the minimum amount of time and getting on the radio. So once you've got these deployed, um, it's then onto the actual uh, whip itself now this is the slide winder um, shock cord antenna um, this is uh, a, a unique unit to us we've made this specially for the kit um, and there are a couple of things that I need to talk about with this um, when it's in this uh, form like this the best way to deploy this starts from the top so the top section here you undo it and start from the top and work down to the base once it's fully um, extended, uh, it's quite easy. Again, on the top of the coil, the 3.8 inch, 24 turns, straight onto the top of the coil. When putting this away after finishing on a day, um, you start from the bottom and then work back to the top. Um, so we'll provide paperwork for you when you, uh, when you, when you get your kit, um, just outlining exactly what we want you to do um, with getting this set up. Um, so that's pretty much what you're going to get in the kit. We've got various colour coils as you can see. Um, the coil itself I'll talk about, um, very easy to slide up and down depending on what frequency band you want to use. Um, we've used and tested this unit with a MFJ 1979 um, which gives us um, uh, 6 metres uh, all the way up to I think it's 15. Um, but um, obviously with this unit, we're looking at 40 um, to, uh, I think it's 18, uh, 15. So um, that's pretty much uh, how, how this works. So with any kind of analyzer or MFJ, um, you can, what you can do is if you haven't got those to hand straight off the bat, the best way to set this up is to apply it to the radio and then use the slider to find um, the loudest possible noise you can get on your radio on the band that you want to use and then do your fine tuning with this afterwards. Very small increment movements on the coil will get you uh, one to one, one to three, um, you know, um, so that's ideally what you're looking for. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I will just quickly show you the, the other antenna that's uh, going to be available on the store and this is the military shock cord whip. Um, you'll see some videos online uh, about this unit as well. Um, I absolutely love this unit. Um, and when this uh, comes available, which is gonna be sometime this week, it may be Tuesday, but um, we'll have to see. Um, but uh, this um, I love personally. Um, I like, I, I also love the, the shot called. I think the, the, uh, the, the fiberglass unit here, um, is going to be ideal for someone that's just starting out in the hobby and want to get um, portable with their soda or pota. Um, that's a very good cost-effective way of getting on the air uh, without, without spending too much money. Um, that, will, that will be available with the kit, but this will be available separately 
Um, so this is uh, again a, a unique product that is that we've uh, we've managed to uh, get a deal with, um, and we will be the sole provider uh, of this this particular antenna. Um, so uh, we expect this to uh, to be uh, very well liked, and uh, we expect it to go out the door quite quickly. So um, that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything. Um, if um, you have any questions regarding this um, on, on the Facebook page, then please don't hesitate to uh, put a question to us. Uh, we're there to help um, with any, any questions that you might have about the setup. And uh, we look forward to um, hearing from you. And uh, if you're making purchases or, in the, or if you have made purchases already on our products, we'd like to thank you personally for any of the, uh, any of the, uh, the products that you've bought from us. And um, you know, uh, appreciate uh, your custom and we like to think that um, you'll be with us for the ride. Uh, it's been six months, so um, we're hoping that uh, it, it's gonna carry on like it is, which is great for us. So I'll say 73s for now. This is Rob, M1 AGP, for M1 ECC antennas. Cheerio.